center of the nervous system, which directs both body activities. Each of the body's organs has a different job to do. The body is like a complex machine made up of many different parts. From the tiniest living unit called cells to the organs that, that form the larger body systems. There are 12 different systems which control how the body works. They include the respiratory system, the respiratory system that controls breathing, the circulatory system that manages blood flow. So. Hi guys, good morning. Today is the first day of what I am calling Vlogsgiving. Um, I wanted to participate in Vlogtober last month, but I didn't get around to it. And last year, I tried my hand at Vlogmas, which is where um, you vlog every day in December. But there's just far too much going on in December um, to keep up with that. So I thought it would be a perfect option and really just perfect overall for my life right now to vlog um, every day, attempt to vlog every day on this channel in November so and we're gonna call it Vlogsgiving okay I have been super grateful for all of you guys who are watching who support who talk to me who walk me through some things um, your support and your comments and your encouragement are mean more to me than you will ever know they help me keep going and that is a goal right for us all to keep going for us to start and to keep going so I'm super grateful for that. And lately I've just felt um, a higher than normal level of anxiety. And if you heard that saying or that quote or whatever it is that says interrupt um, anxiety with gratitude. And that is what I plan to do this month. I am going to do a whole month's worth of just gratitude. Um, I'm just looking to give and to um, try and explain to you guys how much you mean to me. Um, my friends, my family, um, my YouTube friends, uh, Instagram family, whatever you want to call it, you guys have been such a huge support as I move forward and go towards my goals, my dreams, and all that other jazz. So I thought it would be fun to just kind of carve out some time every day to vlog a little bit or a lot of bit and just show how grateful and thankful i am for you guys so i'm still trying to figure out all of the details but basically i want to do some type of giveaway at least once a week um yeah i want to do some type of giveaway at least once a week and take you guys along on everyday things um i'm gonna try to pick a topic some days i might ramble but i will try my best to get a video up every day in november so i thought today i would kind of walk you through how i am planning these days because it's different um i was using my planning pages before but i have slowly evolved into not needing them as much and using more of a mm, i don't know if it's an unschooling approach but um basically how i am planning these days is I gather all of my resources together, I jot down all of my ideas, and then I go with the flow. So I thought I would show you a bit of what we have laid out and prepared for us to help us study the body unit. I am trying to jot down all my thoughts. I have my stuff back here because we are going to be doing giveaways for the Falco and the Falco kids. Most of my anxiety has come from that area. So I don't know how to sell things. I just like to make things, you know? And I want this business to mean something. I don't want it to just be a bunch of sales. I want it to mean something. So anyway, yeah, today I am going to lay out my plans for um, our second photo shoot for the Falco kids. I, I have, I have kind of wrapped my mind around the way I would like to um, move forward in our social media platforms and it's taken me a long time to figure that out and hopefully I'll share more of that in one of these vlogs giving videos but um, I did go to the store and pick out some props and things for us to style some of the shirts and just have as much fun with it as possible so I'm hoping that you guys come along on the ride talk to me you know keep me encouraged because I'm sure there's gonna be a day or two that I don't want to <laughs> 
pick up this camera, but I'm going to, oh look, I'm going to make today count. One day at a time, we're gonna make the day count. So I'm excited, look how cute. I got the cutest things, and I'll show you guys um, what I got to style the, to style the tees. Okay, what were you saying, Cam? Mm, because the right eye is connected to the left side of the brain, and the left eye is connected to the right side of the brain, which contain, contains reading, writing, talking, art, and then I don't know, I forget the other <laughs> Where did you learn that, buddy? Okay guys, we are part way through our day and I thought I would just talk a little bit about how we prepped for the body unit so far. Um, like I said, we are doing lesson planning a little bit differently lately. Um, just because I need to take the stress off and um, we like to have our free time to really just kind of explore and discover. So the way that I've been planning lately is just to kind of grab all of our resources and jot down all of my ideas and then lay out time that we're going to work on certain things. First of all, I decided to start with the body unit this time. I, I, I often get this question about how do you know which units to get into next. And for me, it's just based on what's going on in our lives. I really wanted to start with the space unit because our planets, our world, our atmosphere, it's incredible. And I just wanted to start the year off with a reminder of creation and our creator. So that was why I started with this space unit. And then we kind of just moved on into the body unit naturally. Um, I already talked about how I am trying to do better with my exercise and eating and my fitness and things. So it just made more sense for me to couple that with what we are learning in school. So we went ahead and moved on into the body unit and it's been working out perfectly. Uh, what I've done over the last several weeks, I feel like it is, um, since a little bit before we ended the space unit is start to pull all the resources together, like just jot down all my ideas, um, look for different uh, resources that would help us reinforce what we could learn in our body unit and then we open up conversations so we talk about the body quite often he's dancing in the background we talk about it quite often like how amazing it is and how it all works together um so we just kind of build up that conversation to talk more about the human body and how to take care of it and that type of thing so i just wanted to show you some of the other things that i've gotten that we are going to be using over the next several weeks i am anticipating this unit to last for about two months or so and we'll see um how it goes the first thing i normally do is go to my pinterest board um i have shown you this before and i'll try and leave a link to my pinterest board it's just a hodgepodge of all of the things that i think are inspiring and fun and stuff that I might want to do or things that I might want to buy and so I go back to that board and take a look at it again and just kind of like I just kind of stare at it <laughs> just really think about um, I try to remember conversations that I've had with the kids and things that they would be interested in one thing I'm trying to do now in my lesson planning is to not um, restrict um, all of the children to one specific um, area of study within the unit, if that makes any sense. What I'm saying is that um, normally I would lay out, okay, the first week we're gonna work on the respiratory system, the second week we'll work on the circulatory system. I just kinda like want it to be a little bit more open. I wanna give them space to explore and discover on their own, and that way it lets me 
I, it gives me the opportunity to sit back a bit and pay attention to them individually and to what sparks their interest the most, you know, like is Kendall seem, does Kendall seem to be more interested in the skeleton and does Cameron seem to be more interested in the heart? And I try to take note of those types of things because they tell me other things about my children as well. So anyway. I didn't want that to be all super deep or anything, but that is why I kind of leave it open. I feel like you have more space to do that in the earlier years than maybe you might in the later years. I don't know. I'm not um, in the upper grades yet, so I'm just dealing with my lower grades right now. <laughs> so, um, and I feel like it's the perfect time to just kind of explore and discover. Like, you don't have to force them to learn these things about the respiratory system right now. So, I really just use this, again, as a time of exploration and discovery. So, um, from my Pinterest board, normally I just find whatever I can print out for little cost, if not free, and then I laminate because I love to be able to use them over and over again. So I found these, and I'm, I'm gonna try my best to find the links to where I got them and leave them in the description box. But I found these, these little body part pieces that I then went and cut and laminated. Um, I didn't find quite as much as I wanted to because I'm pretty particular about the way things look. <laughs> but anyway, when I uh, print them out and laminate them and all that jazz, I just stick them in a little, um, I just stick them in a little Ziploc bag and put them in my manipulatives bin. And I've shown that in my homeschool room tour before. And then these are a few other things, other printables that I found. I thought we would do a little bit about sickness and health. So, and then we would do some vision and anything like that. I just, um, I tried to print out. I normally put these things, either I laminate them or I hang them on the clipboards for them to be able to access and kind of like, you know, again, like I said, I want them to explore and discover on their own. So I try to leave the um, books open to certain pages so they can happen to stumble upon certain um, pieces of information. I like that because then it lets me sit back again and take notes about what they're interested in. So um, just this little vision chart, I thought it would be fun to play a little bit of doctor, that type of deal, the patient form. And again, I'm going to try my best to leave all these links in the description box. Um, what else? I had a couple patient forms. Physical exams, the prescription forms, which I thought were super cute, and I had a lot of fun ideas for that, both in conjunction with our Bible and and with um, the body unit, of course. I found some printouts of these skeletons, so I had these laminated as well. I love little printouts that I can then make my own labels for and use them in different ways. Um, I can also use my bananagrams and they can spell out the different parts and put their bananagrams all around them. It's just, um, we do a lot of things like that, just trying to use our imagination and make the most out of our free and smaller resources. The last thing I got was, yes, Kendall? Nice. So here's another example. What we try to do is a lot more notebooking this year. And um, basically, I used to try to um, set out different things I wanted them to learn, but now I just like to let them notebook on their own. And then I can pay attention to what type of things interest them the most, again. So this is Kendall. Kendall was working on this while um, we were prepping for the body unit today. You gonna tell them, Kendall? Uh-huh. Okay. What do you mean, read it? Well, no. You want to show them what you what you got? Yeah, I can read it. Okay, go ahead. Yes, okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. The human body. The body is like a complex machine made up of many different parts from the um, tiniest living units called cells. They include the respiratory system, okay. the controlled breathing, the circulatory system that that manages blood flow, okay. and the immune system that helps the body fight off infection. Infection? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I missed the end. Oh, okay. Go ahead. As a person lives, these systems are at work to help keep the body functioning. Oh. What does function mean? Function means working. I, I didn't know that. 
You didn't know that? I know. That function means working. Now you know. And here's my skeleton masterpiece right here. Oh! That's a nice skeleton masterpiece. Let's see if they can see it. There we go. Very nice, Kendall. Thank you for sharing. Look, Here you go. You can try okay, so. And that was my work today. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, so um, another thing I found, and I don't always use this. Sometimes I use a combination of um, some things I can print out and use for a Bible journaling. I found this actual resource from Teachers Pay Teacher on the Spiritual Army. Army. That's a, that's what's going on in my day, okay? Army, the spiritual army. Anyway, the spiritual armor. So, <laughs> it was perfect because we are doing the armor of God, which they already know. So we just need some reinforcement and going over those scriptures as well. I printed that out and we're going to use this along with our Bible lessons during our body unit. So basically, I have all of these models, the human anatomy models. I talked about this on Instagram. I like these. I'm gonna do a review of them so I can show you exactly how we are using them. Um, they are not the best thing ever, but they were a decent price and they're gonna work for what we need them for. So I'll go into further detail about these. They're really simple, um, but they just help them label and identify the different parts using those models. The next thing I have, this was in one of my hauls from Ollie's, of course. Um, I have this human body book that has the different parts that come out in the little, I guess, what's it called? Clear, transparent. It's, it's just cool looking. <laughs> okay, so I have this. So normally what I do is go around and pull out all the resources that I already have on those topics and just put them in the forefront. I put them out on my easels, I lay them out on the tables just so that they know that that information is in the forefront. And I also got these, super excited about these. I still have to get a light box. I have a small light box for them, but I wanted to get a um, larger, not a light box. Not a, it's not a light box, it's not a light table. It's like a, like a light pad. So these are just the Rolico True to Life Human X-rays. So I'm excited to use these. Then of course we have this journey around and inside our amazing human body. These are really nice because they just give me lots of fun talking points and they're fun for them to look through on their own. The next thing I have, you've seen this in a haul video before because all of these things are things that I have been collecting over. The information inside of a lot of these books, they say they're for kids, but I think they're kind of geared towards like older kids. However, they have worked out to be a pretty good resource for us. They have this DVD inside that we happen to really, really like. <laughs> I've learned to just kind of put them on during lunchtime or during morning time or just randomly when they're already occupied with something else, just having them on in the background, you would be so amazed how much information they actually end up paying attention to and absorbing. Another thing I have, and you've seen this one already as well, is the Build the Human Body. Already kind of talked about how I like these. I really like the concept. I wish they were a little bit better made. My kids have enjoyed them a lot, so we just work with what we have and they were such a good price from where I found them so we normally start with this then the next thing I have I got this I, I'm pretty sure I either got this from BJ's or Ollie's I can't remember yeah it was from Ollie's and this is the optical illusions which is perfect so when we start to work into the eye and the sight this will be fun to just kind of throw in there as well. It just has a um, a couple of little projects. Build six mind-bending optical illusion models and explore optical science in a totally interactive way. So now for a few little random pieces about planning out our body unit is I normally try and have it um, mesh well with what we're doing in real life. And since I'm on this juicing, um, trying to be better health-wise, um, type of thing. I normally always pick a book that um, corresponds to what we are learning in school and vice versa. So I am doing the Daniel plan and I'm reading through this and this has been really helpful for me in kind of moving my homeschool along and I, I kind of suggest it. Not just the book, just in general having a book that you're reading that goes along with um, what you are studying in school. So that has been working out really well for me. And then the last thing I just kind of wanted to talk about also was I thought that this would be a good time to start with our computers and coding. Um, and specifically when we start to get into study 
the brain more. So once we start talking about the brain, I just thought it would be a nice way that we could just ease into understanding more about how computers work and how coding works and how it's like, you know, a somewhat like a brain system. So anyway. Uh -huh.